Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it's been ages since I sat down to do a video for you guys. It's been a minute for real. Anyhow, I'm back with another tutorial and today is all going to be a full face using a drugstore makeup. Okay, I've um, literally got loads of drugstore makeup that I want to just, you know, keep choosing. So, it's all going to be a drugstore makeup. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get on with the video. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm going to start by cleansing my face. So, I'm going to take my cotton roll and I'm going to take my L'Oreal. Um, H Perfect Refreshing Toner. I love this toner. It's really good for you know when you just want to refresh your skin and um, you know just before you put makeup on to remove any residues and things like that. So I put a bit onto the cotton wool. So tip, and I'm just gonna use it to refresh my face. Okay, so after cleansing my face, I'm gonna go straight into um, using my primer. Okay, the primer that I'm gonna be using is Maybelline. Face Studio Primer. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit onto my hand and it's like that. And basically I'm just gonna rub it and then that. And I'm gonna go in with my True Match, L'Oreal True Match. This is Caramel Golden Toffee. Squirt some on my face, forehead, chin. Put a little bit in there as well, working to my skin. Anyway guys, how are you all doing? It's been a minute, it's been a minute guys. It's been a minute since I sat down to do a video tutorial. Been so busy, as usual. I hope you guys are keeping safe out there. Not stressing yourself out. It's almost Christmas once again. I cannot believe that 12 months have really gone by so quick. Where's this year gone? That's the question that I need to, someone need to answer that just gone so quick since covid came about i found that time is running so quick so rapidly but i guess that's the principle of life you know it goes quickly that's the way the same way we're aging you know we just have to love it and get on with it <laughs> whether we like it or not it's happening i'm gonna go in with my face infinity all day concealer by max factor Okay, this is one of my favorite concealer that I love using. So I'm going to pay some on and put some on my nose, chin. The same brush I use for my foundation to work that in. Guys, right, so I'm gonna use my um, Maybelline um, contour super stay. Um, this is it. It's an old one. I need to go and buy a new one guys. I keep saying to myself I'm gonna buy a new one. I've used it literally really just used it as you guys can see. It's really bad now. I think I ran out. So I'm just gonna scoop some out with this flat end um, brush. And I'm just gonna literally just use it around here. Inside. You guys can see. And then my forehead. I'm just going to take this beauty blender guys and I'll break that in. Guys, I really cannot believe that we've gone over 12 months just like that. Time is running so fast. Guys. Pure Bake by Makeup Obsession. Yeah, I just find it so like, how is, how is it possible like that? It was just Christmas yesterday, literally like it was just Christmas yesterday when everybody was just getting panic and doing their shopping and within a short period of time I'm just gonna use this bake to bake um where I'll put the concealer. Yeah, so if you have something to do, if you have you were planning to start your own YouTube channel, please do it because if you did start it like last year, 
you would have got you would have been monetized by now yeah definitely because it's like according to the youtube statistics you need to get 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours which sounds difficult but if you keep doing videos all the time you at least gonna achieve those numbers those figures you know it's difficult to get me wrong you know youtubing is very very competitive but you just got to do it so if you have something to do if you want to start your youtube channel guys do you not hesitate please 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 do it because one day you're gonna say to yourself you're glad you did it honestly so i highly highly recommend that you guys take this opportunity this year this next year that is coming 2022 start your youtube channel please go ahead about it start it off start off slowly anything that you love doing even if it's cooking, into cooking you can start your youtube channel based on cooking if you're good at doing hair you can start your youtube channel about doing hair if you're a makeup artist you can do your make you can do your youtube channel doing people's makeup or do your own makeup okay if you are whatever you are if you're a nurse you can even talk about nursing aspect what to expect um illness like diabetes or things that people may not even know you can go on to lecture people about it you know so sometimes we think like when we do something oh it's not really nobody's gonna listen people are not gonna like it but trust me trust me guys there's somebody out there that will love to will love to learn about what you are talking about they were so intrigued they so want to know you know further more information somebody will subscribe to you just because they like you they like your personality you know they find you um interesting they they like how your vibe and so on and so forth so eyes honestly it's so important that we take the next year that we're going to we take it seriously that we don't just say we're going to do something we don't do it okay so it's so thirsty you know so i'm using this brush just to get rid of the contour so i'm going to do my eyebrow i'm using this eyebrow gel that i bought on the internet um alibaba eyebrow is always the just tricky part of the whole makeup thing isn't it guys if you don't get it right the makeup doesn't come nice straight straight up anyway guys so i'm just taking my uh, face infinity and i'm just going to use some to find my eyebrow and do eyeshadow so the eyeshadow i'm gonna use um, first of all i'm gonna use a transition color brown here if, I, if you guys can see this brown and then followed by the green that green down here and then the dark the darker green one of these darker green palette i'm using my sephora palette just in case you guys want to know to be honest with you i've had that palette for so long like more than a year more i think about two years i bought it when i went to france that's when i bought it and it's just been with me it's the best palette i've ever had it's with so many colors so many um like stuff within it so i'll take the brown as my transition color and just use it to work my eyelid i'm gonna go ahead and put the actual color that i'm aiming for transition but transition color is on should i say the word right transition color <laughs> anyway i put it all in so you guys can see so now i am going to go with actual the actual green that's really there's two colors there's a green and a darker green so i'm going to use a lighter green first then i'll use a darker green after so this lighter green is like a lemonish kind of green so i'm going to use that just by the eyelid see that green it's like lemonish green it's actually nice I like this 
and I'm just gonna zigzag down here. Okay, guys. So now I have done the grain I want to put. I'm now going to take my concealer, and this one is Perfect Match by L'Oreal. This one, and I'm going to use a little bit to around my cut crease. So I'm just using some around here before I put the green because I really want that. I really want it to show more. I'm gonna take that double green now and start working it into my eyelid area. the green and the dark green you know merging together and I'm just using my makeup obsession bake just to get rid of the, the fallout okay I'm happy with this look guys I'm happy so 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 happy done so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my lashes you know just to speed up the time but this look is coming out really nice I like it it's cool okay so regarding to the lashes I guess you guys know what lashes I'm going to use my Glamit Beauty okay I'll bring it closer to you guys so you can have a look it's got the magnetic eyeliner and it's got the magnetic lashes as well so you basically use that and then you fix the um, lashes on and then it's simple as that very easy anyone can put this on okay so I'll go ahead and draw the line okay so I have done that guys so now I'm going to apply the lashes it's that easy so broke my tweezers so I'm just going to use my hand to peel it off so I've peeled off like that, so this is it. And all I do, first of all, I need to put mascara on before I put that on actually. And I'm basically gonna take the mirror again. Lashes are on. It's all simple guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use some of the eyeshadow to work underneath my waterline just to pop it up a little bit more. So I'll just take some of the green and just use it to just basically work underneath my waterline. ready to party now guys ready to rock and roll use this brush just to you know get rid of the fallout underneath going with my bronzer you guys know this I love this um, revolution glow bronzer it's my favorite so I'm gonna take this brush okay and I'm just gonna take this is very very concentrated guys so Please, when you guys are using this, be careful because you don't want to ruin your makeup. So I'm going to just dump it slightly and blow the essence away. And I'm just going to use that to work into my contour. And then the same goes here. Just gently working it in. It's beautiful. A little bit then on my forehead. Now I am just going to take my blusher, okay? The blusher that I'm using is a CYO. So it's this blusher and this one is called Crash On Blush. So that's what it's called, that's it there. So this is it. So this color is quite pretty. So I'm just gonna use this one. Take this brush down here. So I'm just tapping it on there, just gently. I'm just gonna work it around here. Just gently fading it in like that. See why? Oh, wow! The German company. I bought this from Boots. I like this. This blusher is really cute. 
oh guys look at this blusher look at this blusher it's so beautiful wow bit of my chin oh my god guys i've used this i've literally abused it revolution vintage lace so i'm gonna go with which color should i go with i'll go with this middle one here it's like a i like that not too dark just the perfect so i'm just gonna take this blush this blush this brush <laughs> i can't speak today guys just rubbing it agently just like that and it's gonna work around here a bit more on the top there Let's check this vibration of my colours. I like that. Cute, very nice. On my forehead, not too much. And a little bit on my nose. Look guys, look how beautiful my skin is looking. This this is all drugstore guys, all drugstore make. I'm gonna take um my big brush, fluffy brush, Fit Me by Maybelline. And it's matte poreless, and this color is golden caramel, and it's three, three, two. So this is how it looks. I'm just gonna tap it on like that, and just take a little bit, and just work it all around my face. You know, get everything in. Voila! Quite like this look. I like it. And I'm just gonna take my Mac Prep and Prime. Fix plus. Mm. That feels nice. And I like this look, guys. Do you like this look, guys? Do you like it? CYO. This is a color. It's very nice and bright. Look. This is how bright food this color is. So, first of all, I'm going to put my um, lip liner by Mary Kay. I've had this lip liner for a long time. Guys, I used to be a Mary Kay consultant, beauty consultant. That's why I managed to get this. Been so ages, like I've kept this lip liner for so many years, and it does it does the job. So I just do go ahead and do my lip, and then we're gonna go ahead with this red lipstick. Oh, I love it. by the way, guys, I love red lipstick. Red lipstick is my favorite, like literally my favorite. So we're gonna put it on, and I've got this kind of complexion that when I put a red lipstick on, it kind of like bring the it bring everything, it bring my beauty, it bring my complexion, everything just. Ooh, it just looks so beautiful <laughs> anyway so I'll put this red lipstick on oh guys check this one out I've not even finished yet and one thing about red this lipstick from CYO it tastes nice it's got like a sweet taste to it it's a matte and it lasts all day CYO I'm not really sure whether um, they still stock their products in because the other day I was trying to like go and try, buy some more stuff and I log into Boots and basically I saw the page like but this they say the product is out of stock and I was fuming I was so fuming so I know I was like how dare they do that to me when I was ready to buy because this stuff is so cheap right so reasonable but quality makeup so quality makeup guys tell me what you think tell me what you think of this red lipstick let me come closer mm -hmm. <laughs> guys so i'm doing my hair um i'm using my vkk can read it pretty okay guys i'm done with my look okay so guys i'm done with this glam look how do i look do i look pretty yes i look beautiful isn't it yeah so guys this is it if you like what you see you know what i'm gonna say is to hit that subscribe button hit the notification button so you get regular updates from me each up upload new videos like comment share it among your friends and i'll see you guys next week